Did VAR win the World Cup final? The World Cup is over and France are the champions. Viva la France! There's a big name that everyone is talking about. It's not Mbappe, it's not Pogba, it's not Griezmann. It's Nesta Pitana. <laughs> what? Hey everyone and welcome to another episode of EXTV. I'm your host Andrew Soklal and let's talk about VAR. No, it's not a disease, but the video assisted referee, as his call has drawn a very decisive line in the football world. In true over analytical fashion, many people, many people, have given their strong opinions on VAR and particularly the call that some are dubbing the call that spoiled the final. Okay, not really, that's just me saying that. And once again, in a completely made up segment, let's check out some mean tweets to VAR. The first one, former Manchester United winger Ryan Giggs stated, What a joke of a call. Everything looks 10 times worse in slow motion. Former Liverpool striker Robbie Fowler, What a shambles of a decision. Former Dutch star Pierre van Hooydonk, Worst scenario for FIFA. Hashtag VAR decision, wrong one. Wins the World Cup for France, in this case. And please get rid of the word interpretation. Craig Bailey of ESPN, The latest one from some peeps, is that his hand was in a different position from his right. As if you synchronize your arms and hands while jumping and descending. Ridiculous. Former Manchester United and Denmark keeper Peter Schmeichel, the decision for me is crazy. It was no PK. If that was a penalty, then we'll have 20 penalties in every game. Yusuf Paulson, Danish striker, one of my favorites. I think every player has to cut their arms off next season. Hashtag VAR. So that's just a few of them. It's easy to enter a VAR bashing rant, which I won't. Let's take a closer look at VAR. So it was introduced in the EPL and Syria with mixed results. However, first things first. The following key things must be noted. VAR only intervenes in the course of a match when the officials have made a clear and obvious error in one of the four key areas. It gets real when the glasses are on. Not really, I just feel smarter. So anyway, the four categories are goals and offenses leading up to the goal, penalty decisions and offenses leading up to the penalty, direct red card incidents and mistaken identity. So of course we are not going to go into a massive video about the entire process and how the entire VAR process works unless you want us to. Today we'll look at this in the context of a penalty, the criteria and the process. Maybe we can understand it better Maybe. It's not like FIFA is known for dishonesty, right? So to summarize quickly, based on official documentation and videos released by FIFA, there is a three-step process. The incident occurs, review and advice by VARs, and the third is decision or action is taken. So in this case, the handball takes place. The ref has three options. Number one, referee accepts the VAR information. Option two, referee decides to review the information on the sidelines, which he did three times. And option three, decision or action is taken. So now that we understand the process, in this case, the decision was that Perisic did handle the ball. Of course, as fans, it's very easy to have a knee-jerk reaction. Come on, ref! Or, yep, yep, it's definitely a penalty. But now that we are all more enlightened and educated about the process, does it clear up your minds or yourself or many people out there? Clearly not. The tweets and arguments pro and against rages on. Not everyone hates VAR. Overall, the assessment, as stated by former Premier League referee Peter Walton, explains why the use of VAR in Russia exceeded his expectations. <laughs> wow. I thought it was magnificent, but when it came to it, they got things right. They got things right that they would not normally get right. Hmm, interesting. According to Keith Hackett of The Independent, who's also a former referee, neither of France's two first half goals should have counted with the penalty awarded for the second absolutely staggering. I also believe France's opening goal should not have stood as it came from a free kick awarded after a blatant act of simulation by Antoine Griezmann. I understand why Pitana was fooled, but there must be a case for using VAR in circumstances such as these. The system is designed to prevent goals being awarded if there has been an infringement in the build-up and that was the case here. The arguments continue. And it's just too much to fit in here. Now that we all have a better understanding of the procedure, 
Do you think the final decision was the right one? Do you think the decision in the final was the right one? Did it impact the final in a negative way? I personally think VAR is a wonderful innovation for the game and when executed properly can eliminate many errors, reduce diving and maybe improve the standard of defending, especially from set pieces. However, the key word is execute. It is still being executed by humans and humans are prone to errors. Petana's initial reaction was not to award the penalty. Did VAR force him to doubt his decision? Was the fact that the entire world and a full stadium was watching him forced him to go against his own decision? The discussion rages on. So let me know your thoughts. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Feel free to tweet and message me and let me know. And as always, this episode of Extra Time TV has been brought to you by Flow Mobile, where Flow Mobile users can download the Flow Sports app and watch Flow Sports 1 for free. So this is Andres Soklal of EXTV. Thank you for joining us. Thanks for watching. If you want to check out more, look at this video. And don't forget to click the subscribe button because when you do, one of your enemies will be destroyed.